10 mysteries soon to be explained. Ten Middle East geoglyphs. All around Jordan, Syria, and Saudi Arabia, archaeologists have been finding weird stone structures. Although they're a bit tricky to discern from ground level, they're very clear when viewed from airplanes and captured in satellite images, and they come in various shapes. The Bedouin people from the early 20th century called them the works of the old men, but archaeologists of modern days tend to name them after the shapes they form. Some of these titles include kites, wheels, and gates. Research of these strange ruins is still in progress, but there is a rumor going around that researchers from Saudi Arabia are planning to publish a paper on new discoveries sometime soon. 9. Valley of the Kings The Valley of the Kings got its majestic name from something pretty rotten. Tombs, Egyptian royalty, and not just the pharaohs were all buried there from the 16th to the 11th century BC. Oh. The vast majority of them were completely plundered by grave robbers over the decades, but in 1922, archaeologists were overjoyed to discover Tutankhamun's tomb largely intact. However, in 2013, the archaeologist Zahi Hawa said that he believes that there are undiscovered tombs in the Valley of the Kings. There is one particularly interesting site where the team discovered four foundation deposits and when they ran a radar over the surrounding land, the results suggested that a tomb may be buried under there. Although the archaeologists don't know who might be buried in the newly discovered tomb, there are speculations about it possibly being Tutankhamun's wife. 8. Authors of the Dead Sea Scrolls the famous Dead Sea Scrolls are actually fragments of various texts dated to all the way back around 2,000 years ago. They were found in 12 different caves in the vicinity of the Qumran site in Iran. No one knows for sure who wrote them, and there's still a hot debate going, although the most dominant theory is that the scrolls were written by a sect from Qumran called the Essenes, who hid them in those caves when they were fleeing from the Roman army around 70 AD. However, even people who support this idea aren't sure, because a lot of the scrolls were found away from the Qumran in sites that are now Israel and Palestine. In February this year, archaeologists who were scouring the Qumran area for more information discovered a new cave. What they found inside suggests that there were completed Dead Sea Scrolls in there, which were stolen probably in the 20th century, along with a blank one they found which was apparently being prepared for writing. Oh. 7. Viking Visits The Vikings were definitely passionate explorers, probably because their homeland was all freezing and minimally fertile. We've got evidence of these guys in their long warships landing all over the map. Around the year 1000, they also made it to North America, more precisely to the northern tip of Newfoundland, where they established a pretty short-lived settlement called Leans Ox Meadows. Some butternut seeds which were discovered around the area suggested the Vikings sailed farther south from there, but where to exactly is still unknown. We do know they went along the northern shore of Newfoundland into the Canadian Arctic and that they occasionally landed in Labrador. In addition to all these, archaeologists recently excavated three new sites and now satellite images are being made to search for settlements. Scientists are still studying the artifacts they found, but chances are high that we've discovered even more places in North America where the Vikings landed. If you enjoy strange discoveries and mysteries, be sure to check out our 10 most mysterious things found in the jungle video, where you can find out about a river in the Amazon that will boil whatever goes into a live, and about an ancient civilization that was discovered due to the genius of a 15-year-old boy. 6. Deciphering the Indus Valley Script the Indus Valley Civilization thrived over 4,000 years ago in an area which is now divided between modern-day Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, and Iran. One of their largest cities was called Harapan, so they are also known as the Harapan Civilization. It seems that the collapse of this ancient people happened due to climate change. There's another warning sign, as if we need any more. But what's interesting is that their script has not been deciphered to this very day. Ancient Mesopotamian texts talk about people called Maluhans. These were Indus Valley people who lived in Mesopotamia. Right now, archaeologists are digging under every stone in Iraq and the Gulf states to figure out how these two peoples interacted. They're hoping to find a bilingual text, something written in both Mesopotamian and Indus Valley script, which would allow them to come up with a key to decipher the mysterious Harappan script. 5. The True Face of Captain Blackbeard Notorious old Captain Blackbeard is one of the most famous and most frightening pirates anyone has ever heard about, and he's the nightmare fuel for thousands of kids, 
not to mention the parents who read these bedtime stories to them. He was infamous for terrorizing the ships along the Atlantic coast and the Caribbean and pillaging everything else along the way. But what was he actually like? Hmm. This is the question which kept fueling the excavations of the remains of his flagship, the frigate Queen Anne's Revenge, for over a decade now. The researchers found out a fair bit of information, including a significant number of details on what kind of medical procedures were practiced aboard the ship. The current puzzle are numerous glass beads found aboard which are being analyzed for information about the slaves that were in the ship when Blackbeard captured it. What's the craziest historical mystery you want to be solved? Hmm. The identity of Jack the Ripper? How about the location of the lost city of Atlantis? Leave us a comment in the comment section below telling us about the most bizarre mysteries you want to get to the bottom of. Four, mummy diseases. Luckily, the nasty pest known as the smallpox was entirely eliminated from human society in the 1970s. The only samples of the virus that still existed were sitting safely in the laboratories in Russia and the USA, and those were just used for vaccines anyway. However, now there's a possibility that it might come back from the grave pretty literally. All around the world, archaeologists continue to discover human mummies that are remarkably well-preserved, and diseases are known to live way longer than their human carriers. Back in 2011, a team of construction workers in New York City came across an iron coffin, but it was discovered that it contained a mummy of a woman preserved to an amazing degree oh. who had died of smallpox. The archaeologists who were sent to collect the coffin called the Center for Disease Control and Prevention to check whether the virus in the body was still active. Luckily, it wasn't, but some mummies that resurface are younger than others, meaning their diseases are still alive and potentially dangerous. Number 3. How the Archaeological Black Market Works Ever wonder how all those stolen historical artifacts find their new illegal owners? Hmm. Well, we may have figured it out. The sellers themselves are old news. Terrorist organizations and people from the world of organized crime sell loot from archaeological sites to fund their activities. Now their methods might be cracked too. The American School of Oriental Research, as well as other archaeological institutions, are working with intelligence and law enforcement to analyze their information in satellite images and figure out exactly how it works. In some cases, illegal organizations which control some territory intentionally let thieves loot the local archaeological sites and help them transport and sell the findings in exchange for a part of the money they earn. If they don't control any territory, like the syndicates of Europe and Asia, they act as middlemen who transport these stolen items across borders and make money that way. Egyptian syndicates are notorious for organizing assaults on antiquities guards. 2. Homo sapiens had other hominids for company. Our species, the Homo sapiens, is the only surviving hominid. We have been hanging around this planet for over 300,000 years. Everyone else, the Neanderthals, the Homo floresiens, and the Denisovans have long since gone extinct. However, unlike the popular notion, they weren't really our ancestors. It's more precise to say that they were like our cousins. We shared the timeline for a fair while. So why are they gone while we're thriving? Recent research suggests an unsettling theory. We might have actually been the ones to force our ancient relatives into disappearing off of the face of the Earth. Homo floresiens went extinct around the same time that Homo sapiens arrived to their territory. On the other hand, we seem to have had a peaceful and cooperative coexistence with Neanderthals and the Denisovans, and a spicy one at that. We share some DNA, you see. So our ancestors actually crossbred with these two species of early hominids. The DNA material we got this way helped boost our immune system, meaning we could survive more kinds of diseases and other nasty conditions. Go figure, the muddy cave folk actually gave us our first vaccines. Number 1. Star Chart ancient burial ground or both? This legendary stone structure has occupied so many minds that archaeologists and other scientists decided to undertake an ongoing study. They surveyed the Stonehenge site and the surrounding land and came up with loads of new information. As it turns out, Stonehenge itself was just one part of an enormous complex, a sacred landscape which included several burial sites, shrines, and other structures made of stone or wood, and all built in circular patterns. This photo is from an excavation of the surroundings where they found burned bones dated from 3100 BC to 2600 BC. The weirdest thing of all is that all of these various elements of a long-lost landscape feature precise astronomical alignments. Researchers are working on finding all of them and figuring out what they mean. All the while, they continue to make new discoveries, and now it seems that the ancient landscape around Stonehenge, the shrines and burial sites, 
actually predate the construction of the famous monument itself. Thanks for watching DTR. Don't forget to push that subscribe button. Up next, 10 most mysterious things found in the jungle. The boiling Amazonian river. When geophysicist Andre Ruzo was a child, his grandfather had told him about the legend of how some conquistadors had gone searching for the city of El Dorado. The golden city rumored to be hidden deep inside of the Amazonian jungles from the very few explorers who managed to